Hey guys, welcome to, back to my series of custom challenge runs in the Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb edition. For those who follow Zen's channel, you probably know exactly what is coming here after seeing my item loadout, but for those who don't, man are you in for a surprise. So I'm going to call this one War Blimp. Uh, I'm starting out with 14 odd mushroom damage ups and uh, the epic fetus item of course and my default d6. I also uh, spawned Guppy's Paw for myself, devoured all of the extra hearts that I gave myself except, and then blew myself up except for two spirit hearts to get back to kind of regular because I, I don't like the aspect of the run where you have basically infinite health. I think it would be, I think it's going to be a little bit more fun to play it this way. So let's get going here. So as you can see the odd mushrooms made my head gigantic. They also give you a ton of damage up. Uh, which is why I thought it would be interesting to give myself Epic Fetus, which doesn't respond to damage up, instead of uh, just having super powerful tears. Oh god, get out of there. So I'm also super slow. Uh, Odd Mushroom is a damage down, or a speed down, not a damage down. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Uh, I left myself with two Spirit Hearts because Guppy's Paw actually eats your hearts that are full first, which I didn't anticipate. And there are ways I could have given myself hearts. I could have like spawned Lover's Cards or something, but I was feeling a little bit lazy. I'm also going to allow myself to pick up any items I want, and I'm going to have a prejudice toward any items that change the way my head looks, because I really like that aspect of the run. Uh, is that Sacrificial Dagger? How does that even work? Does that like circle inside my head? I'm going to pick it up just to find out. <laughs> it goes inside of me. That's kind of weird. Um, that actually might be really useful because it kind of shows me like this is the area that has a hitbox. Because one interesting thing, if you've seen Zen's run again, his is called um, Big Headed Anglerfish. Highly recommend checking out, it's hilarious. Um, but, oh man. Um, I kind of don't want to take Book of Revelations this early. I want to stick with the. Uh, Big headedness, or uh, not the big headedness, the D6 for a while, unfortunately, because Book of Revelations is great and everybody knows that I love it, but you know, it's just so early to be giving up my uh, D6. Oh man, I was gonna give myself the noose for this run so that I would actually be a blimp. You know what? I'm actually gonna do that on camera. I'm sorry. I thought about restarting the run, but it took me so long to get this shit going that uh, I don't really want to deal with that. Don't click on the screen because that makes a bomb appear and hit you. Excellent. Okay, so there's my noose. Really sorry about that. I, I wanted to be an actual blimp, you know? Uh, and you can't really do that if you're not flying, in my opinion, anyway. So, oh, there's the secret room. I was gonna say, maybe this uh, floor does not have one, but it does. Okay, so we might come back there after we have a D6 charge. In fact, we will, for sure because the uh, Famine is going to drop a cube of meat, and we know for sure that this is Famine, because I just used the Book of Revelations. What are you doing, Famine? Get away from me. Alright, so we're going to pick up our cube of meat. That's going to go along with our uh, Sacrificial Dagger. That looks so weird. I just have, like, meat and a uh, dagger coming out of my chin repeatedly. Let's see if we can get something interesting here. Uh, one up. I might as well take it, because we're... Uh, you know, at the end of this floor, not much else I could do, really. It could be useful. Oh, I forgot that I needed health. Gotta start looking out for red hearts. Because again, could have filled up my health, but lazy. So, oh god, okay. I'm gonna be a little bit careful about how I handle this room. Okay. That went just fine. Alright. It's just, it's so weird. It, this is a lot like the most recent run I just did with the... Um, what am I thinking of? The, uh... Blah, blah, blah. What was I just doing? Fuck. Uh, the Tooth Fairy. Where my hitbox was much larger than I am, now it's way smaller than I am. So we're going to pick up and put back down both of these items as well. And we're already well on the way to getting all of the books out of the way so that we can start using libraries as free item rooms. Very lucky getting two item rooms on the first, or uh, two libraries within the first two floors. That's I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. You know, I, c I could roll the books, and I think I am going to do that. Because uh, I, otherwise I'm just going to be wasting D6 charges, and that's going to give me another two books that I can pick up and put back down. For a total of six books that are already out of the rotation. 
what more could there possibly be out there? I know there's Book of Sin. How many books are there? I should really know that, but I don't off the top of my head. Um, but I'm trying to think of books that we haven't seen. I think it might just be Book of Sin. Uh, which is great, getting a bunch of, uh, for the most part, kind of subpar spaceport items out of the way is good. It sucks getting the Book of Revelations out of the way, but oh well. All the other books are kind of, especially with Epic Fetus, a lot of them are not very useful. Like Anarchist Cookbook, totally useless for us. Uh, Book of Belial, similarly. God, Troll Bomb. I don't really want to go back into that room now, because that Troll Bomb has a really good chance of catching up to me. Uh, I can't get into the item rooms or the shop yet. Another reason why it was a good idea to just use my D6 charge there. Oh, you know what? Let's do it again. Why not? Might miss out on the opportunity to roll another item, but I think it's good to get all the books out of the way so early. Monster Manual. God damn it. It had to roll twice, didn't it? So now we just have Book of Sin left, I believe. And that's going to be it. And this this video, I think, is pretty good proof that... I, have I already checked for the secret room here? Yes. Uh, this video is pretty good proof that, yes, it's true. You don't have to use spacebar items. You just have to pick them up to uh, stop them from showing up again. Man, so tons of money. Just need to get into the... Uh, uh, I just need to get some keys so I can get into the shop. Start getting more items. Hey, there we go. I think with this no amount of money, I should definitely go into the shop because I have enough money to potentially afford a key as well as an item, uh, making it pretty much a no-brainer. So let's go and hop in here. I love the way I look. I look so fucking ridiculous. Where do you get a top hat that big? It's insane. Uh, I don't want any of this. That sucks. So that was a total waste of a shop. If I get another, uh... What am I trying to say here? Oh, we know for a fact, by the way. Oh, no, we don't. Wow, that's weird. I must have misplaced my bomb up here. Because I thought that this was the boss room for sure, because I couldn't bomb my way into it. But I guess that's incorrect. Wow, the super lucky Cuba meat there. Taking care of me when I can't. Uh, let's definitely go check out the item room, and then we can know right away if I want to save my D6 charge for that or not. Uh, after defeating the boss, because we are going to get one more charge. And we could use it on the shop, or the item room, or the boss drop, or the devil room slash angel room, potentially, if we get one of those. Definitely don't want the game kid. So right now, so far, we have two, no, three different places, because we could also roll the library. Three places that I would like to use the D6. So we're going to have to choose one. Library, I'm thinking, is definitely no, because we'll just get um, Book of Sin out of there. The shop has uh, the pickaxe in there. I'm thinking I probably won't roll the shop, because I'd have to spend 15 cents and my reroll to potentially get something I might like, whereas the item room would be free. So item room is the winner right now. I'll definitely pick up Squeezy, mostly because it looks fucking ridiculous on the giant head. Look at that shit. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like bursting through his monocle. Alright, let's check out... Hey, Krampus. Uh, we can't roll the the lump of coal. I'm 99% sure. I think it just comes back as a lump of coal. So, we'll take it even though it's useless to us. That'll make us a dirty, dirty boy. Or blimp, I should say. And now we'll come back and roll the item room one more time. And hopefully get something nice out of there. Or even, like, nice isn't really the word. I just want things that augment my appearance in strange ways. I would love speed up, too, though. That would be great. So let's see what we can get here. Come on. Something good. Something good. Eh, an HP up. That's fine. I'll take it for sure. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't think... I didn't think that was part of the head. I thought it was part of the body. That is awesome. I've got this giant pulsating ball sack hanging down from my chin. Just like every Saturday night. <laughs> that is so awesome. I, I wonder if Edmund McMillan knows how much of, like a ball sack that looks. I wonder if that was intentional or not. I wonder if it's ever been pointed out to him. Probably has been by somebody. Jesus Christ, I look awesome. That's my favorite part about this challenge. Is it just, you know, you sort of get uh, desensitized to all the crazy appearances you can get in Isaac after a while. You know, they all start blending together. You stop caring so much what your character looks like unless you get something especially ridiculous. But this, being able to see everything in glorious HD, changes everything. 
I love it. I enjoyed Zen's challenge so much. I, I'm sure Zen doesn't mind that I'm copying his challenge, but I hope no viewers mind either that I'm essentially rehashing something you've already seen, but I find it interesting to see what other items we can get to make this shit look crazy. Oh, kill it. Really should have gone for the hive first. Not sure what I was thinking shooting that fly. Alright, so let's go reroll that uh, unicorn horn now. Did I already pick it up? I think I forgot to pick it up. It's foolish. It, using the unicorn horn with the head looks really awesome. So I'm kind of tempted to do that. Wow, 99 bombs. I'll, no! I shouldn't have taken... Oh, well, that makes it all worthwhile. I look fucking crazy. Uh, but with Epic Fetus, having 99 bombs is not really tactically valuable. But like I said, I value uh, crazy appearance more than good items right now. Because I'm already quite powerful. Ah, uh, Cursed Skull. I don't really want that, but it's not going to be a problem anytime soon, hopefully. I uh, pretty much had to blow myself up there once I had, I had like, started moving my, uh, my cursor to a bad place, and then I just had to eat it. There's no place for me to go. Excellent, got a key. You know what would be great right now is bombs or key. I would love that. Uh, with 31 cents, it definitely shop first. We can pick up this key as well as this map, which is quite handy. Now I don't have to obsess so much about uh, looking for secret rooms. And we can get in here, pick up Dead Sea Scrolls, and put it the fuck back down. And reroll it. For Polyphemus, um, which is going to make me look cool, so I'm going to take it. He was, whoa, that is creepy as hell. I look kind of like Triacnid, don't I? Interesting. Uh, but yeah, Polyphemus, again, going to do nothing with uh, Epic Fetus. But I just, you know, I'm enjoying picking up items that change my uh, facial appearance. You got a problem with that? It's a fun run. I'm into this. Uh, I could pop into the arcade, try to get some keys. Might very well do that later on. But for right now, I'm just going to continue clearing the floor. Hey, maybe we'll find some holistically. Might as well kill this room while I'm here. Probably going to take damage. No, it didn't take damage. Excellent. I was kind of expecting one of those bullets to come at me in a way that I couldn't really avoid it because I'm so goddamn slow. I really am like a blimp. I look, I look like just the most demented parade balloon. Or is that what you call them? Float. Parade float. That you've ever seen. Um, don't think there's anything left to reroll right now. Unfortunately. Probably should have left one of those items on the ground. Uh, but we just found the item room, so that's fine. Uh, Little Gish. I like Little Gish. But followers are so useless with Epic Fetus. Just because they never really... Like, they only shoot when you shoot your epic fetus, so, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and kill boss number one right now. And then we'll have another thing on the ground that we could put, uh, potentially re-roll. But I want to wait until I have a re-roll before I fight the boss, just in case we get a devil room. Because uh, who knows what kind of crazy facial appearances we could get in there. Gertie did not have much of a chance here. Is this normal epic fetus damage, or is that, am, have I been... Living a lie this whole time, and Epic Fetus does respond to damage up. It's hard to tell. So I picked up 8-Ball, because that gives us this sweet-ass gigantic bandana. And we already have something to reroll anyway. Mostly it was because I wasn't paying attention, though. But I can cover it by saying that I like the fact that it changes my appearance. Could really use speed. Speed would be a huge, huge pickup right now. I'm just going to hide here. It looks like they should be able to get me, but they can't. Excellent. And let's head onward. Oh god. Flies are the worst because they can hide inside of me and kill me. Alright, excellent. Uh, let's go back and roll the item room now. I should have gone into the devil room one room ago, but I wasn't thinking. Because uh, we want to finish a roll right as we beat the, the second boss. Or did I say devil room? I meant boss room. Uh, Charm of the Vampire. That does change my facial appearance, so you guys know my rule. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. I think it got rid of Polyphemus, but that's okay. We had our fun with Polyphemus. <laughs> He's so happy. I like this. Okay, I am scared of this room. Go kind of make a little area for myself here. Okay, excellent. I was really afraid about how that was going to go down. Got a pill, what does that do? Tears up. Not really useful. Uh, we could get into that boss trap room. 
somehow. No, he couldn't. <laughs> I'm just lying. Every once in a while, my head really gets in the way of what <laughs> what I need to see. Okay, so now it's time to kill the uh, the second boss. Potentially do some re-rolling there, and really, like after we kill this, we're probably just heading on to the next floor. There's no reason to fuck around here. I could get myself low enough health that I could go into the boss trap room, but that seems kind of risky right now. I don't have the kind of spirit hearts that I would want for that kind of play. Pestilence. So we're gonna get a second level cube of meat. Not super useful, but you know. Kill the spider. Second level cube of meat. Can't roll anything every item is taken on this floor so let's just go ahead okay I guess the the game has decided that I'm going to enter this room chocolate milk does nothing for me right now holy water not one of my favorites so we'll come back later on and roll that shit again uh, oh god <laughs> couldn't see that blue spike at all he was just tearing into me and I had no idea it was there that sucks uh, blue candle interesting choice um, I don't think I'm gonna fuck around with the blue candle right now. It would be really awkward trying to use it with this loadout. To go, go, Spike, go. It's hard for me to tell where I am, so like coaxing it properly is difficult. That's what she said. Kill some chub people here. Gonna have to go back through that blue spike room, which I hate. Blue spikes are going to be the worst with this loadout. Curved horn, more speed. No, I think they changed it to damage up. Maybe. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've had to deal with trinkets. I think, like, my trinkets have been broken for a while. Like, it, it keeps on telling me when I beat the chest, hey, you unlocked a trinket, so I don't even know at this point. Oh, God, okay. This is, this is not good, because I don't want to blow up the rocks, because I need those. Come on, just hit it one more time. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> I didn't hit myself. Excellent. Uh, poison Touch is great. We're going to take that with us for sure. Because uh, I am going to be walking into things I'm not aware of all the time. So we might as well have uh, some, sort of, some sort of recourse for that. So come up here, Blue Spike. Good. Walk out with relative impunity. What do we got in here? Doctor's Remote. <laughs> not useful. Well, we'll pick it up for sure and then put it back down. Did I buy something? No, we got the blue candle, so we gotta roll the uh, shop as well, but first off, might as well roll the item room, because that's free. Whereas the shop could cost us, or will cost us money if we get something we like enough to buy. Okay. Shit just got real. I hate masks. Okay. It's gonna be really disappointing if I die early in this run to something like that where it's just like I can't see the enemies attacking me so you know what am I gonna do what kind of recourse do I have here let's go head north some more we got another item room here might as well check it out what do we got yeah we have something totally worthless doctor's remote and the other one so that's priority for rolling but this one's totally useless as well so might as well roll the one that's close we got uh, Celtic Cross I was expecting like a giant aura, but it, auras I guess don't show up at all because they're um, blocked by my massive figure. Uh, wow, that was a resilient golden poop. Uh, we will take this because I don't think Curved Horn is doing anything at all for us. I was just kind of nervous about accidentally walking into that fly with my giant pulsating heart ball sack. Even though I know that that's not in my hitbox, it's just feels weird to me walking inside of enemies when I could otherwise avoid it. Um, one more room, then we can do another roll. Hey, Judgment, what's going on, buddy? Here's another good reason not to roll the candle, because now I can use my money here instead. Uh, stack of pennies. We're already on the Necropolis XL, so money is not going to be a big thing for us right now. So I don't really see the sack of pennies being useful in the long run. So we are going to wait Oh, and try to roll that as well. Got a lot of rolls going on right now. Don't hit me. Okay, that was close. There we go. 
You got another bomb. Could really use a bombs or key pill. That would be so huge. Because bombs are like totally useless to me. Nervous as hell about this room, but it all worked out. Bombs are key? Bombs are key! Excellent! So now we have infinite keys. And effectively infinite bombs. Anyway. Oh, I think I just wasted a D6 charge because I'm a big fucking idiot. Oh well. Uh, let's roll judgments item first. Because I tend to like judgments items more. He can give us like, the compass would be huge. Uh, remote detonator, not so much, but we'll take the free bombs anyway, as well as the inability to get that item again. Might as well see what's over here. Half a heart to go into that curse room is usually worthwhile. We'll see what's in there. Or I shouldn't say usually worthwhile, but, you know. Hey, it was in this case. Yeah, I think probably on average it's worthwhile. It's a spike room down there in case you're not paying attention. And we'll try to roll Judgment's item again. Looks like the boss is going to be all the way far bottom right, which is like the most annoying place we could possibly be going. Well, that's fine. We're just along for the journey here. Spiders everywhere. I'm surprised how little like hitting myself I'm doing. I was really expecting that to be a big thing. Uh, just accidentally placing... Ah, oh, God! bombs in places where I get hit where I didn't think I would. It has happened a couple times, but not nearly as many as I thought. Let's check out what's in here. Wow, shit tons of money. Good thing I didn't pick up the uh, uh, sack of pennies, because, you know, 49 cents, I don't think we need any more than that. I think we're all set for the rest of the game. So let's finish rolling judgments item here, hopefully anyway. Wishful thinking there. What do we got here? Sack of bombs! Equally useless uh, to the sack of pennies. Because again, bombs are not really something that I'm going to need much for this run. Since my primary attack is a form of bomb. And let's start moving toward the boss. And hopefully by the time we hit the boss, we'll be uh, we'll have our, all our rolling sorted out. So that's probably wishful thinking as well. What do we got in here? Lock chest? Why not? I have the keys for it. And it paid for itself in keys anyway. Oh wow, I thought there was going to be one left. That was a good uh, managing of epic fetus there. Oh come on, you're not dead. I hate all of the things that like count as blast shields, including like walls. I don't know. It's too complex a uh, thing for me to explain right now. If you know what I'm talking about with walls acting as blast shelters, then you already know what I'm talking about. But it's really hard to demonstrate unless you have something like Epicac to show what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> let's kill some Epicac nubs, by the way. Excellent, another spirit art. Lost my other one somewhere. And here we are at the bottom. I've been wasting D6 charges because I am a fucking disgusting, idiotic animal. Oh well. Let's go back and roll Judgment's item one more time. Man, what an idiot. I think I wasted two charges there. Oh well. So hopefully Judgment will finally give us something good from the afterlife because he's been gone a while now. I just want something to make me look ridiculous. Is that such a such a big deal? Yeah, crack the sky. That's exactly what I was looking for there. Awesome spacebar item. All right, let's hobble our way down here, fight the boss, and then decide what to do from there. I kind of want to just give up on the item rooms because, or the items still on the floor because, you know, we're starting to take to take a long time walking back and forth here. I'm getting a little bit. Uh, fatigued with it and I'm sure the viewers don't feel any differently because we're just like we're so slow just crawling back to the item and then crawling back to get more d6 charges okay we got mask of infamy that could be a problem but bright side is epic fetus is a pretty good item for fighting this guy because we don't have to worry so much about being behind him. I really, maybe Epic Fetus does respond, uh, respond to damage, because I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. D didn't I already have the Fool? I already had the Fool. What do we got here? Health down? Oh, come on. 
what an asshole. Uh, rusted key is going to be fairly useless. Okay, so that's the end of the map right there. We're going to roll one more time Judgment's item, and then we're going to get the fuck out of here. I don't like where I am right now. <laughs> okay, it all worked out, but like all of the enemies were hiding behind me, so I couldn't see what was going on, but I think they just killed themselves on the... Uh... Ah, you know what, let's just save a roll for Mom and leave it at that. Could have gotten maybe the compass or something, but really, is it a big deal? No, not particularly. So let's take care of mom here. Shouldn't be too hard, though, again, it's going to be really hard, like, telling where enemies are. Oh, God. I, like, my instinct is going to be to stay far south next to that hand, just so that I can, uh, see the enemies that are being spawned. Oh, man, this is scary. I, I could die here. No, probably not. I think I got this. Okay, excellent. That was tough, though. We're definitely going to reroll a shot speed up for Mom's Panties. Excellent. Just what I needed. Alright, so we're down to very low health. Uh, we could be looking at the end of our lives very soon here. I just want to get into the secret room, and of course this is like the worst room possible. No, it isn't. Not even close. I shouldn't tempt fate like that. Uh, that didn't blow up in the secret room, huh? Alright, here we go. What do we got? Slot machine! <laughs> I love how I have to move sideways to see. Oh, I should blow that up. I could play it a bunch, but you guys know me. I don't... Not really in the mood for that, especially on a normal slot machine. Can't get anything very useful or good out of that. Uh, let's definitely go up north also and check to see if the boss room is up here. I'm surprised I didn't think of that before. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> Trying to move far enough south so that I can see where my bomb is going and actually left the room. Hey, it is the boss room. Wow, that was a great play. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought I could sneak past there. Okay. So let's definitely go back into the secret room. There's a heart in here. Let's grab that. And let's fight whatever our utero part one boss is. Death. This could probably kill me. Hopefully won't, but... Good. Okay. Let's wait on that one. Death's horse is always kind of fun with these really low fire rate um, items like Doctor Fetus, Epic Fetus, Epic Hack. Have to really time your shots appropriately. Uh, it might actually be useful to have a third level Meat Boy running around helping me out. I'm not using bombs much anyway. The bullet blocking from his current form is useful, but this could he could go and eat things that I can't even see, so I'm going to go with that. I know it's against my usual rule to pick up a third level meat boy, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Fuck. Oh fuck, no, come, get away. Almost forgot that I could walk on the creep, which could have been a d disastrous mistake there. Let's go ahead and check out this area down here. Okay, yeah, Meat Boy, you just take care of some business here. Because I am too scared to do anything. Oh, come on. You're not faster than a Diglett? Come on. Alright, we got a... Uh, oh, I almost picked that up, but it's Radioactive Spider would just... Um, what am I trying to say here? It would uh, do nothing, essentially. It gives you slowing effect on your shots, but I don't really have traditional tiers here, so I don't think it would do anything for me. Fuck me. Oh, I think I have the shield right now, and it's just like around my mouth. That's pretty funny. Okay, so the boss is not down there. Let's try the other side. Definitely like to reroll Bob's Rotten Head as well after we get a couple more charges. Oh fuck, there's something, something hit me and I don't know what it was. I think it must have been another worm that was behind me. I have the shield again. <laughs> Alright, here is the, uh, the Mom's Heart boss fight. We have one more D6 charge to use on Bob's Rotten Head before we go in there. Perfect timing, really. What do we got? Something good. Dad's key is actually pretty damn good. We're gonna take that. Uh, that will allow us to skip rooms pretty frequently, and uh, D6 was kind of wearing on useless at this point. Uh, not really too many more items 
I could have had a potential to roll there. That was like genius laser dodging if I do say so myself. I really didn't expect to get out of that. But I just teased them just right. Because I'm so slow, you see, so I had to really use brain power instead of you know, just quick dodging. So this is gonna be predictably easy. But the cathedral could very easily end my life here. And I don't hold out a lot of hope at all for the um you know, uh, chest. Even if I do get there. Oh, scary. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why I didn't use Dad's key to just, uh, get into a free, uh, devil room there, it's because the, um, devil room would just contain a trap door down to Shoal. So we got two books of sin here. It's too bad I don't still have the D6, because I could have actually, um, rolled that library and gotten two free item room items, but hindsight is twenty twenty. Dad's key will be good as well. It's a it's a pretty solid pickup. Especially for this late in the game where like blasting through rooms can be very important. I can also do it with just epic fetus bombs, but that's much more difficult to pull off. So let's kill some of these guys. Getting really lucky on easy rooms in the cathedral so far. Like a fistula is not super crazy easy, but it's not even close to among the hardest things you can run into in here. I uh, could maybe just kill greed and take a shortcut over there, but I'm going to check this direction first. Because uh, it looks like, I kind of feel like bottom right is going to be mom's heart, or uh, no, Isaac rather, not mom's heart at all. Uh, tower is useless. We're gonna hang on to the fool. Could teleport out if something goes terribly wrong and we're about to die. And then, I don't know. There's like hearts on the ground. Could be useful. We get a shit ton more money here. 74 cents. Good thing I didn't take the, uh, stack of pennies. Let's check out the curse room for half a heart. Could be great. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it was great. Uh, no it wasn't. It was nothing at all. I forgot that it takes a full heart on uh, the cathedral. If I had remembered that, I probably wouldn't have taken the gamble in the first place, so that worked out well. Um, I guess that's it. I don't really think I can improve my chances at all. Let's fight Isaac, and almost certainly face my own demise. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> this, is, this is so fucking hard. This is exactly what happened to Zen as well. It's just so fucking hard to tell where the tears are coming. Ah, uh, yep. Alright. Oh! I have another life, but that's not gonna help too much. But we can try it again. Oh, fuck me. I can't believe that. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Okay, we have the, uh... We have the... Shield now. I sort of tried to hit him with my knife a little bit, but this is a tough fight. Oh, God, that was close. Once he goes to fetuses, it's actually going to be kind of easier for us because it's so easy for me to kill the fetuses, but it also gets crazier. Oh, my God, did I actually win? Wow, thank God for the uh, one up. Let's pop open some chests here and see what goes on. All right, we got a lot of space bar items here. Not happy to see that wafer, wow. Too little too late, but uh, an impressive item nonetheless. Uh, let's see, which one of these items is most useful to me? I'm thinking probably Dad's Key, though uh, Mom's Bra has its up points as well. Um, so to speak. Haha. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I think it's probably safest to try to go bottom left. That seems like a very easy direct path to what is seems likely to be the boss. Um, I just want to get out of here. I don't like trying to fight. Oh god! Oh, if only I'd saved it. Super bloat. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's dying quick. And we can shoot diagonally, which is actually a huge advantage. One of the things that makes bloat such a pain in the ass is the fact that you cannot... Um, or the fact that he... If you're shooting at him and you're not behind him, then he probably has a shot at you as well. 
I can't believe how little damage I, I'm doing to these guys. What is going on here? Are these guys like invincible to epic fetus? What the hell? This is terrible. Uh, this should be like the easiest room ever and instead it's almost certainly gonna kill me. Fuck. I am scared. Why are these guys taking so many shots? Why? That is bizarre and wrong. Okay, we know this isn't the boss room, let's just get the fuck out of there. Um, so this is a bad situation. Yeah, this is a terrible situation. <laughs> oh my god. How am I leading these guys? How is this possible? Oh yeah, bond myself. Oh well, that was a crazy run. Had a lot of fun with that. Thank you guys for watching. If you have suggestions for your own ideas, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.